wanted to show you this oregano. I have done absolutely nothing to this. I planted this last year as a small, you know, just a little bitty thing. And uh, we went through a pretty bad drought last year with really high temperatures, um, several hundred degree plus days, and never watered it, never did anything. Uh, through the winter time, I didn't do anything to it, and it just continued to thrive. And now it uh, needs to be trimmed back. I'm gonna go through and cut a lot of this off and then uh, tie it up to hang to dry. But man, what a hearty, hearty plant. And it smells so good. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be planting more of this. I even think it, it, as long as it's not somewhere where it gets too much water, uh, it may even be good for like ground cover and flower beds and things. It's, and I wish everything grew like this. This voiceover brought to you by the really loud car that drove by while I was filming. Also by Oregano. Alright, so there it is after being cut back. I know nothing about Oregano. Oregano. I don't know if I trimmed this back correctly. But this is how I've been doing it and it's just continued to thrive. So we're just going to keep going with what works here. I have all this to go tie in bunches and we'll hang it up let it dry and we got plenty of oregano oregano so again i can't speak with any authority on oregano oregano it's the first time i've ever planted it uh it's been here about a year now um but it has just absolutely thrived here in central mississippi it went through a massive drought um through the winter and just uh nothing seemed to really hurt it uh, i don't think if i remember correctly i remember reading that they don't like a lot of water um and it definitely went through a drought last summer, but it also got a lot of rain, you know, in the year it's been here. And it has just continued to flourish. It smells amazing. Um, pretty sure you can use this stuff fresh. I mean, but I just tie it in bunches with some thread and I hang it in our kitchen and you know, it dries fairly quickly. And then you can just use it like you would any seasoning that you would buy, you know, dry seasons you'd buy at the grocery store. I got a whole bunch here to tie up. Yeah, already, it already smells incredible. So uh, if you got a similar climate to me, you know, here in central Mississippi, give it a shot. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff. See you guys. I reckon no, I reckon yes.